Hello, let's create some toggles for VRChat. We are going to use the bandana to make three different kind of toggles. The first one will be um, the, the on and off of the bandana. So then we are going to make a material swap and then we're going to rotate the bones. So first things first, you must before starting anything, you must duplicate your model. So you click on your root in here, control D to duplicate, and then you can hide the first one. Now we are gonna create the animations. So go to the animation folder, create a new folder, uh, name it the way you want, custom animations and you're gonna need an on and off for every single kind of toggles you want to make so right click create animation here and I said three toggles so it's gonna be six animation so you can use control D as much as you want and we're gonna start with naming them you can press F2 and then let's go for uh, show up. Okay, so now to be able to, to use them to parameter to set them up. Uh, we're gonna need to attach them to the FX layer. So go to the animations, FX, go for the animator tab. If you don't have it, you can find it in here. Um, animation, animator, you can open it in here if you don't have it. So now we're gonna create the layers. You will need one per toggle. Make sure you put the weight on one for every single layer and then you can apply the mask. Now we are going to place our animations in here. So bandana on off will be those two. You can just drag them in inside. The first one, the orange one, will be the default state. So when you will get in VChat for the first time with your new avatar, this is the animation which will play. So if you want it up, oh, uh, yes, if you want it up by like by default you will need to right click in entry and set state machine default to the one you want. Here we go. Um, let's go for the other ones. Here we go. Now we're going to create the parameters. So parameter tab plus, let's go for Boolean. The first one will be toggle. The second one would be red. It needs to be simple words without any capitalized letter because it's key sensitive. So choose words that you can easily remember. And the third one will be up down. Okay. Now you need to go to the parameter menu in here and you're gonna create them. So those are not supposed to be there. So add Boolean 
and name them the exact same way that there is in your FX. So toggle red and up down. If you're unsure, you can copy paste the names. If there is a mistake, it won't work. Now you need to go back to the layers tab in here to set up the transitions. So you're gonna right click on the orange state, make transition, click on the gray one and do the opposite. You need to add a condition that will be your related parameter in here it would be toggle, true. So when the button will be pressed, this condition will be true and it will travel to the next state. And then to put it off, you need to do the opposite. So toggle, false. You're gonna need to do that for the other ones. Now let's go for the menu. Uh, there is a sub menu for the toggles. You're free to use it. It's in the sub directory, sub toggle. And we're gonna create the buttons. So add control. This is not key sensitive. You can name it the way you want. So uh, bandana toggle. Uh, the type is a toggle and the parameter will be toggle. If you want, you can choose a, an icon for it. So everything is ready. Everything will work as soon as the animations will have been set up. So let's do that now. Um, to act with the animations, you will need to use your duplicated model and drop the actual FX layer on it, the, the FX controller. So now you can access the animation tab and select what you want to work on. Let's start with the toggle first. Oh, it's, it's show off and show up. So let's start with show off that will make the bandana to disappear. You need to click the record button and then look for the body of your bandana in here. It can be spelled another way like, but you will need to go for what is a um, underneath the armature and then you're gonna unselect the skinned mesh renderer it's gone now you can go for show up and before recording you will need to untoggle it so you can actually check it record check and this is it if you want to test them, you can go back to off, play, it's gone, up, play, it's back. This is it. Now let's go for the material swap. So bandana blue is the, the actual, oh, it's not playing. It's not there because I forgot to put this back. So. Uh, if you want to play with the materials before starting to record and everything, you need to put a random material on your thing. So let's go for body, for example. It doesn't matter. It needs to be different than the two you're gonna use. Let's go back to the animation. So we want the blue one first. Record, and then I'm gonna go back to my project, take the material, and drag it on the bandana. It's gonna create the key. Uh, you, 
Yes, okay, so if this happens, it's because you let your cursor some, somewhere. So you're gonna need to delete this one and put those in here. Play to test, it works. So now we can, we can go for the red one. It's not created, so I'm just gonna duplicate this material and rename it red and apply the red material, the red texture. Then I'm gonna record and drag the new material on the bandana. Here we go. Blue. Red. Okay, so let's go for the third one. Uh, the third one will let you move your the bones that are not related to the humanoid rig. So you cannot use what I'm gonna show you with your actual skeleton. You cannot use it for your fingers, for your arms, for your legs, anything like that. It needs to be bones that are outside of the rig. So the ears, for example, the hair, the tail, whatever, which is actually dynamic on the, on the model. So let's go for the bandana, where is it? Bandana down would be the actual state of it. Uh, I'm gonna put back the material. So we want to force it to go back to this state. To do so, we need to anticipate what we are going to move. I'm just going to do something very silly and useless because it's for the example. But what I want to do is to uh, make the bandana pointing up. It, it means that I'm going to use rotations of those bones in here. So for the off animation, which is down, I'm just going to I'm just going to force them to be on this actual state. So first I'm going to record and then look for the actual bones in here. They are in the chest, I think. Yep, the dynamic bones are here. So it would be scarf zero. No, it's not. Scarf one. Yes, here we go. So it's going to be scarf one and scarf. Let's go for scarf two and scarf three. That, that's the one we're going to rotate. So I'm going to activate the rotation. And then I will click on the axis I want to turn and use control to get the, the um, segmented thing. So control, I'm going to move it and put it back to the original state. It, it will memorize the position. Do the same for SCARF3. And here we go. This is the default state. It will force it to go back to this state. Now we can go for the up one. Record. And I'm going to play with the exact same bows, bones. But now I, I'm free to do whatever I want. So I'm going to make it this way and then this way. And this is it. Everything is set up. When you're done with your animations, you can delete the duplication you made and put back your main model. Okay, so let's test them now. Um, it will be in toggles. Bandana up, down, red, blue, and show up. This is it. Have fun with that.